right. So I didn't prepare slides. I'm just going to kind of talk at you for a little bit as I scroll through the zine. So I'll try to keep my eyes on the chat. And if you have questions, feel free to put them there or in the Q&A and I'll answer at the end. So the Fedora zine was an idea I came up with um, a bit over a year ago. I was thinking about what I like to do, which is to make artwork. And, um, and I knew other artists in Fedora and I said, what's a really great way to show off some of the personality of the Fedora community? Um, something that is just for fun. And that's where the idea for the zine came from. So <laughs> the panda looks, we have a comment in the chat that the panda looks hardcore. Um, so as I was coming up with this idea, I was also stepping into the F cake role. So that stands for Fedora Community Action and Impact Coordinator. So it's kind of like, you know, gearing up for this new job, uh, kind of trying to um, adjust the way my brain thought um, to really be the best kind of support I could be for the community. So from my own personal experience in the community, I realized there's a couple things that we could really use more of, right? And one of those things is recognition, right? And um, this, I think, recognizes Fedora contributors in a totally different way than we ever have. This is recognizing them for their artistic prowess, which is something cool, something we haven't done before, and something that shows off our personality in a totally different way. So I had this idea, I was like, I'm gonna run with it. And I, um, I proposed an internship for the last round of Outreachy. So I went through and I mentored uh, the application period. We had a ton of people. Who, who came through and we ended up with a very talented artist and designer, Ella Daniels. I actually invited Ella to be here with us today, but she has a lot going on in her life right now, uh, COVID and everything else. So um, she won't be with us, but she did an amazing job with this. Um, Ella worked for 12 weeks on a variety of things, not just the designs. Um, so the designs you do see in here are by all different people. So if we go, if I go back, these ones, uh, Ella designed the typography, but she took a photograph that somebody um, submitted, so not her own, and remixed it with this art. Um, this one is by Masha Leonova, if you know Masha. And then we also decided to mix in infographics. So the infographics talk about um, everything from getting involved with the Fedora project to different things that the Mindshare folks have done. So we'll get to that a little bit later. But one of the things we want to do with this scene is print it and hand it out at events. So uh, kind of gone are the days where we hand out CDs um, <laughs> with installations on them. So we're kind of like at a loss, like what do we want to hand out besides pens and badges and stuff like that? Um, so this is another idea of something we want to get into people's hands. And the idea of you know having this something like this in here is so if someone who knows nothing about Fedora sees this, they might think that's a cool place for me. Um, we also had photographs as entries. I think this is by Cyan Chowdhury. We're, we also take poetry. We also had a small playwright or a, a small section from a play or some kind. Um, so we're not just open for visual things, also writing. We mixed in some graphics that show off our foundations. So here's an example of uh, just a page to show off what a team does in Fedora that isn't necessarily a coding team. So this focuses on what the DNI team has done in basically 2019 and 2020. 
we have some just nostalgic throwback pictures to flocks, which we had to throw in there. <laughs> Here is uh, a shot of some of the accomplishments of the Fedora magazine. Actually, let me grab this here. So we tried to take like um, <laughs> slogans and um, kind of some of the foundational cultural things that we have in Fedora and translate them into art. So this is one of the spreads, you can imagine them um, together. We come from different countries, we speak different languages. We are from different cultures, but Fedora unites us with open source. That was uh, the script we used in the Budapest video. So we're just trying to call back to some of the experiences we've had. <laughs> this is one of my favorite pictures, and I think Alberto enjoys it so much that it's his profile picture somewhere. Really, really cute. Um, here's one about the translation team and what they've been accomplishing. This is a story from Kyle, who's on the design team, Kyle Conrad. It's his story of his first interaction with Mismo and the Fedora design team. Here is an info page on the design team and what they've been up to. Wallpapers, badges, sticker sheets. This time I think we can put in a whole thing about the logo. Maybe that'll be in uh, the zine edition too. So there is a plan to print this. Um, I have a file and I've honestly been trying to print it <laughs> through a website, but it was not taking the, uh, the file. So I need to take some time to actually call printer and work the whole thing out. And that is uh, me following through, yes, <laughs> me following through to the end of this. Um, but you know how things go, like release parties and other things often take priority, but it is going to happen. This is actually a drawing of my own. And it is paired with this um, poem by Jen Madriaga, if you know Jen. Um, I reached out to a lot of people directly asking them to contribute their art to this. But I would love to, to spread and for people to um, see it and want to be a part of it. So in an effort to help that along. There is a wiki page where you can learn about the zine. So Ella developed this wiki page for us during her internship. And then there's kind of just a record of the submissions there. Um, but beyond that, we also have a Pajor repo. So this is where kind of discussions and page design and artwork and like um, reworking of different things would happen in that place. Um, so I have to say I'm so impressed with uh, the Fedora community's artistic talent. Like uh, I called out for people to, you know, I, I said I mentioned, I directly messaged people, but they came out with so much great stuff. Actually, hold on. I'm going the wrong way, maybe. I went the wrong way. Well, here we go. We have um, poetry in other languages as well. So it does not have to be an English submission. Here's some, some info about the uh, Fedora Com Ops team. Also the join team. I think this poster is really rad.
and then I think this is one, this is the second to last page, how to contribute to the Fedora zine. So uh, it just gives you a quick little outline of what to do there. And here are the credits for the volume one of the Fedora zine. Uh, I think we had over 25 or 20 people um, contribute to it. And I can't wait to get a physical copy to people. Uh, I think that should be a great goal for Nest. If we can, if we can get a zine in everyone's Nest swag bags, I will be just thrilled with that. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much uh, an overview of how it came to be. <laughs> and yes, and um, who worked on it and uh, kind of our ide ideation behind it and how we came up with the different graphics that we added into it. Um, so I figure I can just be a chicken, <laughs> a chicken in every pot and a zine in every swag bag. Yes, I would love to see the zine out there. So let's take a look at the Q&A. Are there plans to do another or more? Absolutely, yes. So I haven't, I am mentoring and a an internship coming up and it's create designs and assets for the community outreach revamp. So this session of outreachy, I'm I'm booked, but I'm thinking about making it maybe a yearly winter internship. So I can always like I would might always do like the zine in the winter time for outreachy um, and have a like kind of secure that it will happen. Um, and have somebody to really focus on it and make it great. So yes, I have plans to do it in the future. Uh, when can you get a subscription? I don't think we'll ever make them often enough that there will be a subscription. That would be cool if we did. <laughs> um, but you will have a chance to get it on paper in the near future. Yes. Also, the dates have been announced for Nest, and um, the call for paper is open. Participation papers, whatever you want to say. Um, so, can't wait to hear your uh, your ideas and what, whatever you guys want to do. In fact, I might do a zine session there, maybe a little bit more organized and. Uh, and people can get really pumped on getting their copy of the zine. All right. Any more questions? Anyone who's an artist just burning to make a submission, you should do it. Or if you're not even, if you're like maybe a little hesitant or shy, I still encourage you to do it. You will get a positive response. I promise. Oh, there's the very last page. The fedora was here. All right, folks. If there are no more questions, I think we are going to do a wrap-up session in a few minutes. And I will see everyone over there. Thanks for coming to my talk. <laughs>